in a previous video, I believe it was one of the Sasquatch talk videos. I was talking about workout splits and training a muscle once a week versus training it twice a week with a, with a twice a week split. So for example, uh, having a chest and back split. So chest and back on Monday, legs and arms on Tuesday, so on and so forth. Having that sort of a workout where you do, where you have basically three workouts and then you repeat it twice a week versus having a workout that is say just chest on Monday, just back on Tuesday, just legs on Wednesday, so on and so forth. And I mentioned in that video that I'd never actually seen any real studies that compared the two style of training, uh, those two styles of training. And I, and I personally prefer the train a muscle once a week method just because I like to train for a long, longer period of time. And I like to focus on a muscle. I like to focus on what I'm training. I don't want to have to think about training chest. And as soon as I'm done training chest, I don't want to have to go and try to destroy my back. Uh, it's just, it's just, uh, it's, it's in my opinion, I just get better results when I can focus on one, you know, basically one body part. Well, I have finally come across a study, uh, you know, twice a week versus, uh, you know, once a week, uh, style of not, not once a week training. <laughs> I want to make sure that's clear. Some people may hear me say once a week if they, Oh wow. Train once one time a week versus two times a week. Now I'm talking about training a muscle once a week. So, uh, for example, training your biceps once a week versus training your biceps twice a week, you would train other body parts during all those other days. Okay. So if you're training back one day, you're going to train legs another day. You're going to, you're going to train, uh, shoulders another day, arms another day, chest another day, so on and so forth. It's, I'm not talking about training one day a week. Okay. I'm talking about training a muscle one day a week versus training a muscle twice a week. Anyway, thanks to the Jerry Branham's applied metabolic newsletter. There's actually, I actually came across a study, uh, that he mentioned in uh, one of his articles here. So is one day a week enough for muscular gains and strength gains? And I'm not going to go all through the study, but as he mentions in here, you know, a, a lot of people, a lot of you guys are probably training with uh, the two day a week, right? So, you know, in, in here again, he mentions like a, a, a six day split. So day one, chest and back day two quads, hamstrings, low back calves, day three shoulders and arms. Then you might train like that say Monday and Tuesday rest Wednesday, then train Thursday and Friday rest the, uh, weekends. And then, you know, you just start all over and you basically get everything, uh, like twice a week that way. Uh, sometimes three times a week, if you're doing like full body workout, you might do a full body workout you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday or something. I've lately actually been doing full body workouts every day just to, you know, change things up uh, six days a week. It, it, it actually works pretty well. Uh, it's not a long term thing and, and it's not it's not best for gaining a, you know, hypertrophy. Uh, it's just something I want to do to change up a little bit. But uh, I digress from that. Let's go back to this again. You know, again, he mentions that the two day a week has often been shown to be best for strength and and uh, muscle size, and he also mentions here one study has shown that training hitting a muscle three times a week has shown uh, better gains in muscular size than training it two days a week. However, they finally did a study uh, for training a muscle group once a week, and the basics of the study are uh, so those that trained once a week did eight sets of squats. Okay, while those that trained twice a week did four sets of squats. So if they're training twice a week, that means let's just say they're training, uh, they're doing squats Monday and then they're going to do squats on Thursday. Okay. So they'll do other things versus, you know, during uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. So they're going to do four sets this day and then four sets at another day, another day, a, a total of eight sets of squats for the week. Okay. Versus the other group that only trains that muscle once a week, they do their full eight sets of squats on Monday and they don't do any more squats for the rest of the week. So it, the volume is going to be exactly the same for the week. Does that make sense? The volume is exactly the same for the week. So they, they went ahead and tested it this way. Uh, if the volume is exactly the same. So the conclusion of the study is as long as the volume is the same, there is really no difference uh, as far as muscle size and strength go. You'll have basically the same results. All right. Of course, there are, you know, little things that are different, such as you may be more sore on a one day a week, uh, sort of routine simply because you're going to be hitting it so much harder than you would if it was a, on a split on, on, a, on a, on a two, 
a two time a week sort of split. But you know, that's just because you're hitting it harder. I mean, that's, that's sort of expected. Okay. So that is actually the answer that I was sort of looking for. Uh, so they've, they've actually tested it. So basically what they're saying, I'll just break it down one more time. If you're training, say chest and back on Monday, you're training uh, legs and arms on Tuesday, and then you're training, uh, shoulders and I don't know, I'm, I'm forgetting something. I'm sure shoulders and, uh, say abs or whatever on Wednesday. So that's three different workouts and that's three days. And then you'll just repeat that. So whatever you're doing Monday, you're doing on Thursday, whatever you're doing on Tuesday, you're doing on Friday. Now, if you take Saturday and Sunday off, then when it comes around to Monday, whatever you did on that Wednesday, you'll now do on Monday and you'll just keep going, you know, one, two, three, one, two, and then three, one, two, three, one, you get the point, right? So if you're doing say chest and back, we'll just do something easy, chest and back on Monday and you're doing chest and back on Thursday. Say that workout is bench, flat bench press, incline bench press and decline bench press, obviously for chest and for back is deadlifts, pull downs and bent over rows. Okay. This is not an actual workout plan. Uh, although that's, that is pretty similar to what, to some that I've seen. Uh, it's not nearly enough volume in my opinion, but <sighs> so say you're doing three sets of flat bench, three sets of incline bench and three sets of decline bench. And then you're going to do three sets of deadlift, three sets of pull downs and three sets of bent over rows. So that's Monday. And then you do the same thing on Thursday. You know, your three sets of uh, flat bench, your three sets of incline bench, so on and so forth. All the three sets of the three different exercises for chest and then the three different exercises for back. So if you look at that and you analyze it, you, you can see that each day on the Monday and on the Thursday, each specific day, we're just going to focus on chest here. So just chest, we're doing nine sets total for chest on Monday. And then we're doing another nine sets for chest because we're doing three different exercises in three different sets. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Makes sense. Good. So we're doing nine sets on Thursday as well. So if we add that up for the week, that equals what? 18 sets for chest for the week. So the basics of how this study works is if that's how your split is and that's what is giving you good results, all you do, if you want to move to a one a day, uh, training a muscle once a week, uh, system instead of a twice a week or a three times a week, uh, system, all you do is you keep the same number of volume and you do it all on one day. Makes sense. So instead of doing nine sets for chest on Monday and then you're all of your back stuff and then nine sets of chest on Thursday and then all of your back stuff, just do 18 sets. Again, as our example, I'm not saying 18 is a magic number. Me personally, I'd probably be around 30 to 50, 50 sets. You know, it just depends on what, <laughs> what I'm doing. But uh, just as an example, if between those two days you're doing 18 sets, then what you do is say, now I'm on Monday, I just wanna do just chest. That's fine, do 18 sets of chest. So instead of doing three, three, and three, just do six, six, and six. And you'll have the same results. According to the study, you will have the same results in muscular size and strength. So that is the answer to the question I asked in one of those videos. Finally found the study. Finally found a study, someone that actually studied this and uh, got an answer. Something that I suspected would be true, that as long as the volume is the same, uh, you know, it's going to be the same now for me. I think it actually works better. The train each muscle, you know, have a specific muscle each day versus trying to ping pong back and forth between different muscles and different goals. Uh, except for, you know, when I say arms, when I say I train arms, obviously that's more than one muscle, you know, that's bicep, that's tricep and forearm. That's how I do it. Uh, and when, when you say leg, obviously it's the front of the leg, the back of the leg and the calf. So it's more than a muscle. I'm just saying a body part. Okay. Now, I'm not against the two day a week uh, stuff, you know, training a muscle twice a week. In fact, I think you should try all of these things. I think you should some weeks, uh, you know, here and there, throw in a week of just full body training. You know, it'll shock the body of to do something different. And then uh, maybe for a week or two or three or even a month in a row, uh, go to training each muscle twice a week. You know, do a chest and back, do a legs and arms and so on and so forth. And then go back to the bread and butter, which I consider the bread and butter is one muscle per day, that muscle once per week. So one day is chest, like I did chest today. 
oh, or he's so the chest today. Sexy. Tomorrow I'll do back. Uh, the next day I'll do arms. The next day I'll do sh- uh, legs, and the next day I'll do shoulders. And the next day I'll do you know I'll either like a random sort of thing. I'll focus on just uh, one body part, or I'll do like a full body workout or whatever. You know that's what I like the best. And as far as rep ranges go. Uh, they didn't mention rep ranges, but there is another study, which I'm not going to get into here because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, there, But there is another study so- showing that rep ranges don't matter as long as you're working the muscle uh, completely. So you can use a very lightweight, something around 30% of a one rep max, which is very lightweight. Lift that 20, 30, 40 times, whatever it takes you to get close to muscular failure and do a couple sets or just go to complete failure. And complete failure is not... Oh, it hurts. Complete failure is I literally cannot lift this anymore. Okay, so as long as you're going to either close to complete failure and then doing multiple sets to completely work the muscle with a lightweight, or if you want to stay within the so-called uh, muscle building zone of of eight to twelve or eight to fifteen, which it, that doesn't exist by the way, uh, you can you can do that. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm just saying using a lightweight will do the exact same thing. So if, if for whatever reason you can't lift super heavy weights, something in the eight to 12 range and get, you know, eight to 12 reps or whatever, and you can't do that because of your joints, because of your back, because of your knees, whatever, then use something really, really light and lift it 30 times or 40 times or 50 times. I personally, I love the high reps. I mean, high reps feel so much better to the muscle to me than heavier weights do. Now I, I go through, I run the gamut. Uh, personally, most of the time, I, I love to switch things up all the time, but my, my sort of bread and butter zone is the train each muscle once a week and 50, 30, uh, 20, 15, maybe 10, then eight, six, maybe four is the rep range per exercise. A lot of times it's a lot of reps. I realize it's a lot of reps, but I run the gamut. You know, I really like that sort of workout. I mean, for me, the high, high reps have been some of the best gains uh, ever. And so if you've never done super high reps, you know, check it out. I'm not saying stick there all year, but definitely check it out for two, three months in a row and then switch things up. Like I said, you know, go to the, go to, to the uh, twice a day sort of protocol, go to a full body workout protocol, go to a powerlifting protocol and just keep switching things up. As long as you're making progress, as long as you're lifting weight, as long as you're taxing the muscle, uh, all of this shit does not matter. Okay, so don't think you have to lift, you know, only do chest one day, only do arms one day, only do just back one day. If you want to do chest and back, if you want to do legs and arms, if you want to do legs and back and then chest and arms, chest and shoulders, it doesn't matter. The point is it, it doesn't matter really in the grand scope of things. What really is going to give you results is keeping your training consistent. You know, keep the intensity high. If you want to go heavy weights, fine. If you want to go light weights, also fine. Just get the reps up, get the intensity up. And you're going, you're going to reach the same place. Now, as far as strength goes, in my opinion, you still have to lift heavy, at least at some point. It, it, you still have to lift heavy. There is actually a study that shows that there have been similar increases in strength uh, lifting light weights. But I don't look for any power lifters to start, you know, lifting, say deadlifting 200 pounds and then go to competition and try to, you know, lift 800 or something. Uh, you know, I doubt it's going to work like that. But, you know, studies are studies, but that's what this study says. As long as the volume is the same, uh, you know, don't worry about it. If somebody tells you about a post-workout testosterone bump for, uh, on the two-day sort of, a, you know, per muscle split versus a one-day, then also inform them, kindly inform them that, again, new studies have shown that that post-workout testosterone bump does not matter. It does nothing. Okay, it, it doesn't make you stronger. It doesn't make you grow any more muscle. It's simply it doesn't last long enough to do anything. I mean, that's why you take steroids because it lasts a long time in the, in the body. And that's what you need to increase muscle protein synthesis, uh, and get those, you know, get recovery and actually grow larger and stronger. But that's the answer to our question that we had in a previous video. I just wanted to, you know, follow up on that in case anyone was wondering. So if you want to train each muscle once a week, if you want to do chest one day, back one day, legs one day, arms one day, shoulders one day, uh, abs one day, I guess, although that's kind of weird. I probably do abs plus neck plus forearms or something. I don't know. But you know, if you want to do train each muscle once a week, absolutely fine. Of course, you'll be doing more sets because we're only training it once a week versus uh, 
you know, if you're going to train it twice a week, but of course that all comes out in the wash anyway. You know, if, if you're doing uh, nine sets of chest and then going right to nine sets of back, what's the difference? You know, just, just separate the back, put back on its own day and I'll just do 18 sets of chest and then 18 sets of back again in our hypothetical, I would do way more sets of chest than back. But, uh, that's the answer to anybody who happened to have that question. Training a muscle once a week is just fine. And, and training a muscle twice a week is also just fine. Just do whatever you like best. And also whatever you like best, then switch it up with the other one. That's the way to make gains to constantly change things, not constantly change things, you know, not every day, obviously, but a month to a week or two here and there, just you know, change things up. Okay. So training once a week, training a muscle once a week, not training once a week. I train six days a week. Let's make that clear. I train, I work out six days a week, but I train each muscle for the most part only once a week. So chest one day, back one day, et cetera, et cetera. And then I'll have weeks here and there where I'll do, you know, chest and back and then legs and arms, so on and so forth. Okay. But my bread and butter, what I like the best is one body part per day. And I train six days a week. Okay. And that's perfectly fine. You're going to gain the same amount of strength, the same amount of muscle, and maybe even more if it works for you. So don't be afraid. Training each muscle once a week with the same volume will give you the same results as training that muscle twice a week. So if anybody tells you different, tell them to go look at the science. The science has changed.